Hi guys, my name is Mary Jane Blunt and you're watching my channel. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kevin. Today for our makeup tutorial, we're going to focus on this new products that I have that are just four and they're Morphe products. They're this gloss and this liquid lipstick and I'm going to try them on. This is a fatty, that's an ugly name, but it looks like a cute, let me take it out. It's like a cute pink, so I think I'm gonna like it. And it's gonna go well with the look. Cause today I'm gonna do a really fierce look because of the kind of palette I'm going to use. Cause it's really colorful. And I'm going to use this gloss, which I'm not gonna take out because it's the same thing, same packaging. And I'll show it to you guys later in the video. Yeah, I'm gonna try these two lip products. And I'm going to use this highlighter that I didn't get to try the other day uh, in my last video because I was just already trying um, the Lara Lee highlighter. I saved it for this Morphe video, which is not going to focus on a lot of Morphe products, but I am going to try to use as much of Morphe products that I have. So I'm going to try this highlighter. It's new as you guys can see, and it's also really pink, but it's okay because my look is not gonna be super pink or overtaken by pink because the palette that I'm about to show you, it's very colorful and it focuses a lot on reds and oranges. This is the palette. The palette is called 3503 Fierce by Nature and it's by Morphe and it was gifted to me. Yeah, in the back here it says it has 35 shades and it says hot to the touch. This scorching palette was born to dominate just like you. Wild sizzling reds and hypnotic flaming oranges created fierce looks that will stop everyone in their tracks. So glow on and feel that creativity stun wild Morphe base. So we're gonna try out this palette. It focuses a lot on reds and oranges and we're going to create a look with it. So for the look today, I'm going to apply the wig first um, before I start the video because I want to try it again because last time I like how it turned out and I want to see if I like it again because sometimes it's hard to like melt the wig in when you have the makeup like already on because like the the glue like goes down and it just ruins the look so i just want to try it like how i did it the other time where i put the wig on first and then i started doing my makeup so i'll go on and put my wig and come back and start our makeup video so let's get started okay so <laughs> it looks so funny. so we're going to start and we're going to start with the primer. So we're going to use this Laura Mercier primer. And I have my, so oh, we put primer all over our face. You know, you wanna put primer because you wanna protect your skin as much as you can. And we're also going to use this um, hydrating uh, spray. So there we go. And we're going to let it dry. And while that dries, we're going to apply this Nikita Dragon color corrector because I obviously have a beard. So we're going to cover our beard. And this time I'm going to go slowly because it dries up so quick. Oh, I forgot to put water. So remember you want to be really generous with this product because you want to make sure your beard is fully covered, especially right here. And you want to make sure you cover your neck too because you don't want the, you want to put makeup and foundation on your neck also so the colors match because otherwise it's like completely noticeable one thing i like about dragon beauty's color corrector is how quick it dries that way you can move on to the foundation faster and i think that's enough i'm just gonna do a little more right here just to because i can see a dark spot so now we can move on to the foundation. So today we're going to use the uh, foundation from Kat Von D. So my favorite method to apply a foundation is literally just tapping on my face. Just because it applies it better and it makes it look a lot better when it's... And we want to make sure to put some of the foundation on our ear. It just helps it look better so it doesn't show the contrast of the colors of the skin so you want to make sure you cover your ear with foundation too so even if it takes a lot longer it's always better to just tap it and take your time i really like this kat von d foundation it really goes well with my skin i think it's that pink undertone 
and just really helps it out. Some of my followers have been asking me to teach them how to like contour my boobies. So I'm going to do that in this video. So the first thing for that process is to apply foundation on my chest. So we're gonna be doing that today in this video. You wanna make sure you get really in those cracks. So let me just do my face and we'll continue to that part. So for that part of contouring my boobs, I always put base all over my chest. This is like step one. And I really do, don't, I don't do it all at once when it comes to this part, just because I just find it easier to just go with doing my face makeup and then going along with it, I guess. But the reason why I want to put base, because I, I could easily just contour it, I find it that if I apply a base to it, it makes it look more feminine and it grabs the contour colors a lot better. When you do makeup in the face, it's good to put your base on your body or your foundation to paint on top of that. It just grabs the color a lot better. And it also makes it look smoother, so. It's always good to put foundation on top of your chest if you're trying to contour your boobies. Or just to make it smoother. It's kind of like Photoshop, but for real life. And there we go. Now we can move on. We're going to highlight our face. So we're going to use this Uvia's Place uh, stick. And we're going to highlight the areas to feminize. And here we go. I like to bring it out here. I like to give it a triangular shape just so because of the way I contour it. For the blending, I'm just going to tap with the sponge. So we just tap it and we let the sponge do its job. And I don't like adding the highlighter part and the contour sticks all at once. I like taking my time one by one. I feel like when you don't rush things, it makes it a lot better and nicer. I'm gonna fix all this like hairs that are sticking out at the end. So now we do our second highlighter and it's going to be Juvia's Place also, but it's going to be this um, highlighter that it's a lot, it's like near almost white. And I like to add it on top just to, I feel like it helps it be a little more highlighted because I'm a boy. So I have to like do as many tricks as I can. So I feminize my face. We do another round of highlighter, but this one we use a lighter color. And now we again tap, tap, tap. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it really is a lot lighter and it really does make it brighter and does feminize my face a little more. So if you're a drag queen, I really do recommend trying two colors, one more natural to the skin color and then another really light, almost white, or depending on your color, just something that is lighter to you. And I feel like that helps with the feminization process. In this video, I feel like the title is going to be called Fierce by Nature. So we're going to do a look that is fierce by nature. <laughs> because we are fierce by nature. Makeup is not about making people beautiful. Makeup is about enhancing your beauty. So we're going to enhance our fierce natural beauty while feminizing it because we're boys. <laughs> but as you guys can see, that totally feminized my face. And I know I look crazy, but makeup is a process. So now we're going to continue to do the contouring. And this time I'm going to use this stick by Juvia's Place and I'm going to use it to contour my face. This one is really strong so I'm just going to use a little bit. And we're going to contour our nose with this too. I like to add some here and add some here and here. And we're going to contour our face. I'm just dabbing it because it's really strong and I don't want to add too much. Or it's too dark for me, to be honest. And I'm going to add some too under my lip because this helps it look more juicy. So we're going to tap, tap. We're going to just tap gently and spread out our product. This color is too cute. Juvia's Place really 
is such a great company and they're so non-expensive i really recommend you guys to look them up i really enjoy their products and i should i have a new palette that i've had for a year from them and i should probably make a video because i love their products but i want to buy more juvia's place products and do like a full video let me do my nose before i dress it one thing i like about this cream contour is that they take they're so creamy that you can take your time like tapping and making sure everything looks great and don't worry i'm gonna fix all of this like i said i know it looks crazy but makeup is a process mm, that's so cute i don't know if you guys can tell what that did but it just makes your lip just look like it's pushed out it's like working with your shadows so now we do our second um contour and it's so still going to be by juvia's place and this one is a little lighter so it's like like a light brown and i just want to add it yeah i'm gonna add it just because like i said i'm a boy so i need all the extra help that i can get adding a harsh brown and then adding a lighter one helps my contour look better and it just does help feminize my face yeah i really did like what it did okay now that we're done with the contour and the highlight part okay last time i tried this fenty cream blush so i am going to try it this time again because i just love that and it's a red one but it's not as strong so it doesn't come off as super red and we're going to apply it right here mm, super cute that is super cute and for the eyebrow i'm going to use my kat von d gel just because i love it we're going to do very fierce eyebrows this time around we're just gonna trace them for now so this is just the tracing part okay and now we're going to elongate them we're gonna make them longer but let me just make sure they're perfect or how i want them i'm so quiet but i'm literally like trying to concentrate okay and now that they're really traced we fill them up okay and now that we have them like that we're going to clean them out and for that i'm going to need I'm going to use this brush it's just a like a plain skinny but long brush i guess that's what i mean you want a flat brush and we clean our so i just cleaned this corner this right here because it also highlights it and i don't want to highlight here any longer because it's going to be too much and this is just to clean them but to also highlight so now we take our sponge and we just gently tap around that area and you don't spread it around you just let the sponge and the makeup just work together and if you have to go back and retouch it that's fine like you know you can't control that but just it should just work by just tapping it and just not going too in just gently tap or if you feel confident just go in and like i said if you mess it up just go back and clean it it's better to just highlight back here instead of going all the way and highlight everything to clean it and now that we're done with this part now we add our powder and for that i'm going to use this fenty powder just because i don't have a morphe one so might as well and we grab our fluffy brush this fenty powder smells delicious for the people who want to know about contouring your boobies yes you do have to add powder on your chest but let me do my face first and my neck the powder really does help the skin look more real so like i said for the people who want to know about contouring your boobies after putting the foundation yes you do have to go and put powder because the powder helps the foundation make the skin look like soft real skin if you just add the foundation it looks odd or it's not the same so you want to just go full all the way every step and add powder on your chest so we're not done with our eyebrows we're going to add the eyebrow powder now and for that because i don't have a kat von d one i'm going to use this remail kit if i can find it here it is you just want to put it on top just to bring out the color i mean it's kind of like putting powder on your eyebrows literally because you are putting powder 
but it just makes it look more alive if you guys can see it just like it brought out the eyebrow so after the gel never forget to put your powder on top of your gel because it does make the eyebrow look more alive and it brings it out and it makes it pop like look at the difference this looks pale and this is so if you guys can tell before it looks like pale and after you add the powder it looks vibrant and a lot and that's what i mean like you want to add the powder so it looks vibrant and alive and beautiful so now we're going to move to our eyes and we're finally going to get to see what the 3503 fierce by morphe like what it looks like and what it does in our for our look today and here we go look how cute this palette is called 3503 fierce by nature by morphe and here's how it looks it looks super cute the colors are very red and orange and it has a lot of different and like i like that it's the theme is red and orange but it has like greens and pinks and browns and some darker pinks and it just makes the palette look beautiful and diverse and we're going to get into it and see how we like it so let me get a fluffy brush and let's see what we want to do i'm going to do a very like fierce look like super extra and colorful so today it's not going to be bland but we are going to start with like a lighter color because i always like to go light and then go darker as my look goes in my eyes so we're gonna start with this peachy we're gonna stay with the theme orange and red we're going to start with this peach it is powdery but sometimes palettes that are powdery are good because the color grabs on that's exactly what this one did. the color really grabbed on and it's not as peachy as i thought it's very orange. It doesn't matter because I'm just going to work with it and I actually like it. Yeah, we're going to do a look with this. I like to do uh, circular motions. If you guys seen my videos, you guys know that circular motions are like the best technique that you can do to apply eyeshadow. Just because it helps it spread better for some reason. Like it just makes it spread a lot better this color in the palette if you guys can see it looks really peachy which i probably should have used this but i thought this was going to be very light which it was not but we'll work with it. and now we do our other eye although if i would have known that this was going to be this bright i probably wouldn't have used it okay so now i want to do trying to look for a red it says that the theme is orange and reds but i don't see any reds i see all pink although if i wanted to choose a red i probably this would be the closest to red to me so i'm going to use that for the end we're going to add it here yeah that's pink well on camera it looks red maybe and maybe it is red and i'm just colorblind but it looks pink to me maybe it's like a pink red i do think that the palette is lacking red like if you're promoting an orange and red palette this isn't it i think the only two reds would be this one and this one and that's about it and this two three oranges but it's cute it's different like i'm glad it's not overtaken by reds and oranges because if i was a day-to-day -day woman i probably would get it and use it often because it has a lot of browns and colors that you can play off a natural look with i'm just trying to do something extra and it doesn't have a lot of reds to do that but i'll do my best like this is the brightest red i could find and the only one and i think it's pink that's the thing i think this palette is super versatile that you can get away with doing different looks that's what i like about this palette that it's so like different definitely a 10 for this palette i really do like it i like how the colors are coming out every single color that i'm picking like i'm loving like maybe it's not what i expected from the palette like i really did expect the palette to have i expected this palette to be like the jawbreaker from jeffree star i'm not mad that it's not i like that it is within the theme of the orange but it's not in it's not too many reds or it's not overtaken by red which i thought it was 
And honestly, the first time I saw it, I thought it did, but apparently not. I'm trying to use as many colors as possible before I put it away. And before I move on and do anything further, I'm going to add the shimmy. And for the shimmy part, mm, I've used something similar to this. So I don't want to use this one. I've used similar to this. I'm in between this one and this one and this one. I think I'm going to do this one. Yeah. I'm going to grab this brush. I'm going to spray some. And I'm going to dab on this. Let's see what I got. No, it's too dark. So, no, it's not brightening enough. But I'm going to add it in the second one also. Just, I already added on this one. Because it's not as brightening as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to add something else also. But I don't know what yet. I don't know why I thought the red was going to make any difference because it's literally the same thing. Just a darker, yeah, this didn't change anything, did it? I don't know, I don't think it did. Yeah, I don't know why I thought red was going to do something. Hmm. Now I'm going to add red down here. The reason why I add color down here is to make, to take more space from my face because I'm a boy, so I have to make my face look as smaller as possible. So that's why I add makeup down here. But I don't know if it works for girls too, like if it makes them look cute. But I don't know if girls do that, but I, as a drag queen, we do. And it really does help, like make it cuter like that and i feel like nobody else is gonna see that shiny part other than me because i'm not going anywhere right now i'm just gonna film videos for la mastraga because i've been slacking and i swear i'm gonna finish that series before we move on i do want to do something else i want to make it more orange here i'm gonna make it pop so i'm gonna retouch the orange only to make it a little different, I'm going to I'm going to add this brightening. There's this shiny orange, I mean green right here. And I'm gonna grab some of it and I'm going to put it right here. See if it does anything different. It did not. Let me try a different brush. I feel like it didn't make it green, but it did make it shiny. So I like it. To finish it off, I have this white, it's called Dead Blow, and it's from Jeffree Star, it came in that box that I got. And I'm going to use this white to highlight right here. Just because I want to make this video with as much detail as possible, because last time I rushed it so fast and a lot of my footage got deleted. And I don't want to do that. I want to try to do good material for you guys. I want to take my time and do little details and show you guys how my makeup truly came, comes out and what the process truly is. I feel like that truly did help my look. This is the only single shade that I'm happy came in my look because swear the other ones were disasters. So before I finish my eye and everything, I am mostly finished with the palette. Or I am finished with the palette, but I'm not finished with my eyes yet. I still have liner and all of that to put on. But I'm going to do the contour now with the powders. So for the bronzer, I'm going to I'm going to use this um, bronzer from Morphe. It's from Morphe and Avani Greg. So this bronzer is a little too dark for me. So I'm going to be careful in not adding too much. And for some reason, this bronzer, I don't know if you can see it sparkle, but it has um, like shimmy in it. But once you apply it, it's like me. And for the contouring, I also like to do circular motions. For some reason, circular motions helps the contour um, or the product spread out a lot easier and just better. And like you guys see, my face is coming alive. It's really, with the process, once you know like how, like your technique and how you like to, you know, your makeup to come out. And if it came out too harsh, you can just always go with your powder and bring it down a little. So for bronzing, I like to do um, two sets. Sometimes three, but today I'm going to do two. 
And one of my favorite bronzers is this one. And honestly, I don't know the, the brand because it was right here and it went away. And I could probably figure it out somehow. But if you guys can find this bronzer, I really recommend it. It has this brown and pink powder to it that really helps your skin glow. I don't know why I love it. I feel like it makes the pink really helps the the bronzer come alive and have this like like if you were photoshopping your picture it's like the warming like when you use the warm thing after the bronzer we want to use our blush and for our blush because we're using mostly morphe product i'm going to use this morphe blush that i love typically i use this one so i'm going to use this one this time and the reason why i like this one over this one is because this one is too bright and this one is more skin uh, like if you want to not skin like but if you want to go for a more natural look this would be the blush to do that with because the other one is just too pink and i like to add blush all over my contour just because i feel like the pink helps so that's why i like it more because it just makes it look more uh natural another of the new products that i have from morphe is this highlighter i believe it's a collab yeah it's morphe and daisy danger so we're going to try it out for today's look and see how we like it is this highlighter and it's a really bright pink so we're going to see how i like it although i like pink so i'm sure i like it so it's very powdery, which I don't mind. So we're going to use this powder. Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah, it looks so cute. Oh my God, this bright. The camera's picking it up so quick. I am loving this highlighter. This is everything. This is literally everything. It looks so pretty. It's like, it just makes it look so cute and feminine. I love it. <laughs> I fell in love with this highlighter. Definitely going to be using it. So we're not done with it because we're going to use it for our contour. Um, and now that we're done with the highlighter, we're going to just use this Kat Von D um, powder foundation. And we're going to use it just to correct any areas that we might feel like need help. Like down here so i add a little bit here you know just to make it more sharp i like to go over the parts that need a little help and you know correct and make it more feminine for me so there we go that totally looks cute perfect love it now that we did all that we are going to finish our eyes and for that i need so we're going to start with the liner and I'm going to use this Fenty liner that I fell in love with because it helps my look. We're going to take our time. So now that we did the liner and the liner in the eyes, now we're going to glue our eyelashes. So I actually just noticed I have this Morphe eyelashes, so I might as well use this one. So we're going to try out the Morphe eyelashes. This is how the eyelashes look. They look so cute. They're double lash, which I never seen lashes do that, which is cool. They're so glued. Honestly, I don't even feel like I need to put glue on it, but I will. They're like super glued already or they're super sticky. Remember you guys, you guys have to put them down and let them dry for like a minute or so. For a couple seconds just so the glue will get gooey and it won't go into your pores in your eyes and hurt you we put them down just let them dry out a little bit so now that we let them dry out for a little bit we put them on so i like to put this all the way down and this one up so up up here and that not only does it help feminize your eyes but also because i have smaller eyes so because I have smaller eyes, it helps my eyes look more open. And one thing I forgot to do is put on mascara, but I'm going to do that after my lashes dry completely so they won't come off. So we want to add mascara so my normal lashes can blend and also so they can hold up this lash, but that should have been before I even put them on. So we want to add mascara and add mascara to the ones down here. There we go. 
and now we add it to the other eye. So there we go. We're done with that. So now we only need our lips and we're done. Oh, and to finish our chest. But that's after I change. So, so I need to add lip liner. And we're going to use some more free lip liner that I have. It's this light brown. Okay, so the Morphe liner is on. And now we're going to try our two new Morphe products, which is the Liquid Lipstick Rogue A. The packaging, it looks brown, but really it's like a light pink. So we're going to try it and see how we like it. Oh no, it looks light pink here, but once you apply it, it's a lot darker. Or once you take it out, really. Yeah, definitely once you apply it, it gets a lot darker. Okay, so now that we applied the lipstick, as you guys can see, it's a lot darker than I thought, but it looks good with our look, so I don't mind it. Now we're going to try the gloss, the Morphe gloss, and it's also new. I've never tried it before. So I love this Morphe gloss. It's really light, and you don't have to add too much product. And it has like this little blue undertone, but the, it doesn't change the color or anything. It's just... It's like this light blue, but it's see-through and it looks beautiful. We're gonna lay, let it dry out also. But I definitely didn't have to put too much and I really, I like that. It's not like overwhelming gloss and that's all. Now we're just gonna finish the boobies part. Like you guys can see the contrast between my real skin and the foundation and everything. But to finish it, I have to put on clothes because that's normally what I do. So to finish this video, I'm gonna go change. Then we're gonna do the contour for the boobies. So let me go change and we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I'm here to finish the look and we're going to contour our boobs for the final part. So for that, we're going to need some kind of bronzer and I'm going to use this one this time. We are also going to need a highlighter, which I'm going to use the same one I used for the video. And we need a brush. So I'm going to use this fluffy brush and we're going to get our bronzer. And so for the boob part, I think you're going to need a bra and you're going to need to stuff it with something because I did stuff it. And we're going to go here. And so a lot of people do the contour like this. I don't do that. I go to where where I see the where I see the the boob forming. I just enhance that. And then I just add some to this part also. So where I see the boob going, I just enhance that part. And here I just kind of bring it down. And that's literally all I do. And I make sure it's well blended. So you just have to, it's like enhancing the face. You just have to see where you want to enhance. And for me always is this part. And as you guys can see, the shadows already forming boobs. And I also like to enhance these bones right here, but that's just me. You make sure it's well blended. And then once you feel like you already got what you wanted, which I feel like I'm pretty much done. Now we do the highlight with a different brush. A lot of people do the highlight right here. I don't do that. I highlight the boob part, which I think a lot of girls should do because it just brings attention to your boobs. So I highlight the boob part. And maybe I'll highlight this part just to see what it does, but I never do that. Like I never highlight here, but I'll do it this time just to see how it looks. But basically I highlight right there and that's how I contour my boob. But this time I'm going to add some here, all over here. And that's it. So that is all for this video. Oh wait, let me take off the this and fix myself. And I'll close this video. So in one last step before we finish, we're going to set our makeup just to finish everything. There we go. And I'm just gonna decorate myself with some jewelry. I got this gold necklace last year for Christmas and I love it. So we're going to put our little gold necklace. It has a little crown as a dime, as a pendant. Is that how you call it? Oh, there we go. And I also got this bracelet last year for Christmas. And so cute. I'm put it here. 
So this is the look that we got. I hope you guys liked it as much as I did. I love all the new Morphe products that I got and I really like my look today. I hope you guys liked it too. Thank you so much for supporting me this past year. It's been a year now that I've been on YouTube and I'm really happy of all the support that I've gotten and all, you know, all the love, all the messages. I really appreciate everything that you guys have done for me and everything that you guys say to me and like all the well wishes and every time you guys ask me for tips and every time you guys just ask how i'm doing and all of that i really appreciate it you guys have been amazing to me and thank you so much for this past year i hope the new year brings you guys so much blessings and so much joy and i hope a lot of your wishes and dreams come true and that's all for me for this video i just wanted to wish all my supporters a happy new year to finish this year this 2021 it was a ride for me it was a ride of emotions it was it was a year that I'm really proud of myself for overcoming. So I really wanted to thank all of you for the support. And yeah, thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for this last year. It's been amazing with all the people that I got to meet throughout through YouTube. And yeah, I really appreciate all of you guys' love and support. And I wish you guys all the best for 2022. So but it is me. Happy New Year. That is all for this video. I hope you guys learned some tips. And I hope to bring you guys more content this new year. So thank you so much. If you like my content, if you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe. And if you have anything to say to me, please leave a comment down below. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Bye. Hi guys, my name is Mary Jane Blunt and you're watching my channel.